So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with the other type of improper integral. The one where um, the limits on the integral are, have a conflict, I guess, with the equation that we're looking at. So for example, in both of these, when x is 0, we get 0 on the bottom of the fractions. And so we get 1 over 0, which causes problems, effectively. Um, 1 over 0 being effectively infinity. So that's where the problem comes in. So we need a replacement for the zero. So we do a very similar thing to what we've done before with the infinity. Instead of um, replacing infinity with a letter, we're going to replace the zero with a letter. So let's say we're looking at the limit as a tends to zero this time of a to one of one over root x dx. Now I want to integrate 1 over root x. 1 over root x is 1 over x to the half, so that's x to the minus a half. So I can replace the 1 over root x with x to the minus a half. So this is the limit as a tends to 0. Add 1 to the power, I get x to the half. Divide by the new power, a half. Evaluate it between a and 1. First of all, substitute in 1, but we've still got this limit there, remember. So 1 to the half divided by a half. Take away a to the half divided by a half. Ooh, curved bracket. So if we tidy this up, We have 1 to the half divided by a half, well that's 2. Take away 2a to the half. Now as a tends to 0, a to the half will also tend to 0. So as a gets smaller and smaller and smaller, a to the half, the square root of a, gets smaller and smaller also. So this tends towards 0, and I'm just going to get left with that 2. So the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over root x is just 2. So as a tends to 0, a to the half tends to 0. These explanation parts um, of what's going on are very useful for the examiner to see. They, uh, it allows them to see your comprehension, if you will, of what's happening here. So let's look at this example, um, evaluating between 0 and 4, 1 over x squared dx. So I'm going to introduce a letter, as I did before, but this time I'm going to use b. So the limit as b tends to 0 for the integral of b to 4 of 1 over x squared dx. Now 1 over x squared is x to the minus 2. So... If I add 1 to the power, so x to the minus 1, divide by the new power, evaluate it between b and 4, we're going to get the limit as b tends to 0 of 4 to the minus 1 over minus 1, take away b to the minus 1 over minus 1. Now let's tidy that up. So 4 to the minus 1 over minus 1 is a minus a quarter. And here we've got two minuses will cancel out, so we've got plus 1 over b. Now, as b tends to 0, 1 over b will get larger and larger and larger. Uh, because you've got 1 over 1 half, for example, 1 over 2, uh, 1 over 1, 1 over 0 0.5 is 2. 1 over 0 0.1 is 10, 1 over 0 0.01, 1 over 0 0.00001, and so on. And the fraction gets larger and larger and larger. This explodes, effectively, and so the whole integral diverges. So as b tends to 0, 1 over b tends to infinity. So because one of the elements is tending to infinity, 
that must mean the whole thing tends to infinity, and so the integral diverges. So this has no value to it, okay? Or is just too large to comprehend, really. So you can see that integrated between 0 and 1 in this case has brought about a particular value, but in this case has not brought about a particular value. In fact, the integral diverges. So you can see that you can get this uh, type here in these types of improper integrals as we did in the previous two.